Alright, Arc signed in. We are back on Biomutant. Um, I've been looking forward to playing this all day. Um, now, it's actually because of the mount. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to get a mount. Um, but that is definitely going to get me from place to place a lot quicker. Uh, I'm not sure what we were doing. Um, it'll come back to me though as soon as we jump back in. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure how long this video will be, to be honest, because it's my last video of the week. Might be a bit longer. Um, but it's late, so it might be a bit shorter. We'll see how I feel in a bit. But yeah, if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just give me a sub. Just make sure you ding that little bell so you get notified when I do upload more content. And yeah, we'll switch over to gameplay and let's game on. I'm hoping my microphone is recording properly because it says because um messed around with the noise gate the spent nuclear fuel the toxin all dumped oh, in the surf had detrimental um, effects sick of the, uh, on the marine habitats clicking. while the overflowing I'm not sure if it's picking up, but we'll find out the after. Well, I'll find out after. combined you'll know right now world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin what if we can command one of these things I really want to command that right let's go out here whoa There's short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Huh? You've discovered a hazardous zone. These zones are vast areas covered in deadly hazards. And only withstand the hazard for so long before it kills you, so be careful. Hazards come in several types. Biocontaminated, cryogenic, incendiary, radioactive, and the oxygen drive dead zone. Your gear and resistance, you... Your gear and the resistance you choose during character creation determine how long you can survive in the hazard zones and how much damage you will take from the hazard weapons. Resistance of 100 to a type of hazard, you resist 100% of the damage from that hazard. Okay. Well, good job I got my mount, didn't I? Wait. That's the leftover you're looking for. For a beastie, this mount is so gentle. Taking damage already. Oh, I'm fine. Just that one little area. Get up there. Oh, you found climbing spot. Use the normal movement controls to move to the next ledge. Jump away to stop climbing. Okay. <clears throat> don't know if I, I might want to up. <clears throat> Let me get to my settings. I need to. Uh... Let's change the um, camera. Speed. Yeah. There we go. Camera sensitivity. made a difference. Not much. Right, let's do it again. Um, I'm not sure why their numbers are so high. Right. That's a bit bad. A little bit. Excellent balance. Whoa. No, 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 wrong button. Nice and steady. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Quick heal. Wait, what? My health didn't Four even reach the bottom. Prayers. Just killed me. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's crap. I don't even know if there's a resistance to uh, lack of oxygen. Oh yeah, I forgot the loading screen's so long on this. As if, as if I'm already dead. There's something stupid like that. What I wanted that was that collectible. Oh come on, load. <laughs> this loading screen is so I wish I had an SSD, honestly. Should be ready in a minute. Oh crap on my screen. 
Come on, load. Got me back in the game. It takes so long. I wonder how far back it's throwing me then, actually. Gosh. Could be it literally only pulled me back down in. Here. Apparently there's oxygen here. But not here. These controls are slow, the cameras anyway. Oh, this is mouse, no wonder it's not. There we go. See, that was the placebo effect. I thought it was moving faster. It just wasn't. <laughs> That's better. Might be a bit too fast though. What a way to start my video, messing around with the settings. Get across here. Keep to the straight and narrow. Come on, get inside. There we go. It's dark in here. What is a uh, fan? Mecton. Found a Mecton parts box. These boxes can be found around the world and contain parts for. You. Customize the mech. Where's the mechton again? Oh. <coughs> Wait, is this that big armored suit thing? I don't know which way to go. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an ah, instant refuel. Black tar outside. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo puff. Oh, I'm using this to fight the jumbo. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to me. Scripps. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. He noticed the Jumbo Puff has a short attention span, hmm? so the script should distract it long enough for you to inflict some damage. Jump in it and use the all mount point. Ah, okay. Wrong here than ever. 
Okay. Oh, good. Is that a ray of hope? Ah, so I can traverse dead zones. Move oil. monkey's mecton is built sturdy just like himself can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood oh, what the heck are these things oh, i've got a gun on this thing as well Those things get stuck to you. I'm gonna suck all this goo out. This thing is awesome. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the dead zone. Oh, I thought he was gonna say about um being no oxygen around here. So. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Huh. This suit is actually really big. Oh, look at that. The butt, the, like the torso twists around the legs. <laughs> That's so cool. And that's Moog. Can this thing even climb though? That over there is Steepo Deepo, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Can't suck in enough wind. Oh no. Oh wait, oh, there we go. There's only just below. So this is Moog. Ask Moog about scripts. This one's impressed <coughs> to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. I am Kashuma. Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. <laughs> when it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. <laughs> Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. <laughs> Uh, stop in a good way. He's afraid you're just as stubborn as them. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body <laughs> output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Uh, should we eat meat instead? Says he's not sure, but if you're going to haunt something, it seems a waste not to eat it. Mook says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Monster Fortunately hunter. for you, he can help. 
That's amazing. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. Okay. Yeah. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Uh, is it far? Says it's not far at all. Fortunately for you, the squips seem to have acclimatized themselves to the otherwise uninhabitable. I can't get my head around that word, squips. Somewhat light sand. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's piss on this. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't need to place a waypoint. Um. Are your lungs aching? These steel legs were made for walking. I love this thing. This is amazing. Find the squip grotto. I'm just gonna say squip because I, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with the squip. It's no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Go down. Oh, nice. Here we go. Let's hunt these things down. Get us some dindins. Wait, oh. it's the squip hola. Place is just filled with critters. Can you take a oh my gosh, yeah you can. I'm gonna have to get a photo of this for your uh, for a thumbnail. I can't even see these things. I can see them. I know where they are. I can't see what they look like. They are doing some damage to me though. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! What the? Them done. Let's go in further. Well, the mech's not going to fit through that? that door. It's called quiet. What are you saying? Calm before the storm. Let's see what happens. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Hmm. Ah, well, there's no collectibles here. Ah. The tribes need someone to unite them. I do love the graphics in this game. I'd, I'd, I'd love to push it further, but I know my PC will probably start struggling, especially with me recording. Wait. Am I not supposed to walk through that stuff? Ooh. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. How, I just, honestly, how many times have I... Oh. Button. Oh, that looked gross. Oh, that was it. I thought it was going to go higher than that. Where's that noise? In fact, where's my little cricket? Oh, it's on my shoulder. Oh, he's the light. Wow. Let's catch that. Let's catch you. Good eye for that stuff. Another one. You're a mighty hunter. 
These are squibs. I thought it was them weird creatures that I was fighting earlier. So these are going to be my food. But they're just too cute. Pet and cute creature. Couldn't do it, couldn't kill it. No way. <laughs> A new gun. Bang bit seed chops pit co. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that new power. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. Sorted. I mean, the lights will come back on. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the <clears> framework. <throat> framework? Framework for what? Oh, the lift. <laughs> Got another weapon. Quick work for a shiny blade. Shiny blade. It's not blade and it's definitely not shiny. It's a, it's a hoover head and a fan blade. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. In fact, I better uh, let's have a look at my gear. That's what it's called as well, look. Hoover Grew Blade. Which ones? That's got a better crit chance, and it looks better as well. Uh, oh, that's got better armor. Um, not anything for the shoulders, face. No. You look civilized. Thank you. I think that's it. And got a uh, wait. Still bit not great. Buy it point. Perks no. Mutations. That was it. Um, upgrade resistance. Yeah, look. There's nothing for oxygen. Nothing you can do about that. Um. Do anti radiation just for the sake of it. Um, so, I've got a feeling I'm not going to be able to actually max any of them out. Uh, well, I'll be able to max one out or two out or I don't know, maybe three, but I don't think you can max out all of them. Motor transport. That's how you change them weapons. Okay, and then my gun. That does the most damage. We'll equip that. using these two swords. Wait, what am I doing? Use my map. Wait, so we better wait to the map. Yeah, there we go. Um
Why well, can't I fast travel? No, hey, seriously, why can't I fast travel? Oh, I can't use fast travel from here. Okay. Fair enough. It's a dead zone, so I'm not going to be able Fight to breathe. Each breath. Yeah, I should be able to fast travel now, at least. Yeah, there we go. Sound as. Ugh, oh, the loading. The loading. My gosh. This game takes ages. I think I will, I'll have to invest in an SSD soon. I really do. I have a little joke with my missus when she's playing COD. Well, when I'm playing COD with her. Because she all she has to this do is turn PlayStation once on. Tailed a chugger chugger. Now it's just off track. And yeah, she, 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 no matter how quickly I try and load it up on my computer, she's in the game before me. Every single time. How do I go? This left there. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Oh. That's the special weapon he made to store the scripts in the Mecton. It will be strong enough to launch them at the Jumbo Puff. You launch the animals? What the... made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. What are we doing? We're getting a flashback here. I'm guessing that's the Jumbo Puff. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He's sure you remember enough of what he taught you about upcycling to fit some scronky gear to strong on gear. your own. Yeah, I think we might save the jumbo puff for next week then. If he can. Um any more advice. Hope you're having a good day. <coughs> deserve. Alright, well, sir. There's plenty to do, so no worries. Gizmo wants to help if he can. With our help, the tree could live a lot longer. If the Jumbo Puff isn't stopped, the Tree of Life will be splinters. Understands you have things to do. Yeah, can I go? Gizmo wants to help if he can. How do I leave this conversation? <laughs> Has plenty to do, so no worries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the trick to travel. Not yet though. Well, not just yet. Right, so there's places to go. Ah. 
hold down the jump button, uses the jetpack. You have to you have to double press it? Yeah, you have to double press it. This thing is so cool. Oh, it's actually enemies here as well. Bullseye. Think. We got our thumbnail like this. Yeah, I think this might do. <laughs> the duck head on it, honestly. separate. See, I have to look at that screen to make sure it's, it's all it's all fitting right because of my uh, cam. Right, that will do. There we go. Ah, uh, e thumbnail. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old heavy metal. I wonder if... Let's see, that's, that's too far away that is. Maybe around there. I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm, I probably won't make another thumbnail to be honest. Nah. God, these things are doing damage to me. Do you know what? I love the way they've done the camera and stuff. Hurts a lot. Hurts a lot. <laughs> Come on. Right, I think that's all. Let's try jump out now. Behind. Yeah, look, I'm struggling to breathe. These things are pretty big, actually. Great view from up here. Almost lost all my health then. You make piloting this big metal thing look easy. So I don't. How am I supposed to find. The other things. Superb loot and Mechton wreck box. I think those things I'm looking for. I'll have a look along the way anyway. My way over to the mission. Don't break my machine. No, it's fine. Wait, there more enemies. Oh, I didn't mean for that. Come on. Oh, these things are gonna kill me. Come on. 
not dead yet. No. Nope. Reload. There. I think that was it. Sad. Let's have a look at what I can level up. Uh, oh, no charisma. That's <laughs> more like it. Might as well upgrade that. Uh, I've got side points and upgrade points to use. Let's upgrade my. Ooh. Um. There was nothing in there. That's all upgraded. Close combat. There was nothing there. Clunk fist. There's nothing to actually upgrade, to be honest. I might use a two-handed slasher weapon at some point, like a heavy sword. Upgrade that. Um, I think we've got a mutation. Yeah. Which I can't use on anything. <laughs> Which is fine. That's all right. Yeah. Awesome. I, I, I love this game. I really do. I wish I could play throughout the week, to be honest, but... That's not going to happen <laughs> since I've got work and stuff. So, but yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Um, nothing else to say, to be honest. Yeah, I'll be back on Friday. Well, I know it's Friday today, but I'll be recording next Friday when I've recorded this one. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just give me a sub. Just make sure you ding that little bell to get notified when I do upload more content. Yeah, that's it. That's all I signed out. Cheers.